stars They're bigger than the things Oh, they can tear me up Hi, how are you doing? My if, if, if How are y'all doing? Let's bow our heads in prayer Bow your heads our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our debts, as we give our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you would like to say that prayer... At home with the families, it is in Matthew chapter 6, starting at verse 9 through 13. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing great t today. The subject is, what is sin? I am going to have Apostle Courtney read you all. The definition of sin. An immoral act considered to be a transgression against divine law. What is sin? Did you hear her? That is sin. And if we do anything against what God said, then that means that that is a sin. So I want to talk to you about how sin came about you know lately i've been giving you you know kind of back stories about certain things and today i want to give you a back story of how sin came about in case you don't know it okay in case you don't know how it came about so sin came about because god directly told the man not to eat from this tree and that included the man and the woman that he made he told them not to eat from this specific tree if they did they would die okay that was going to be the punishment for them basically disobeying god so this is how sin and death came about. I just want to say that most people think that it is natural sin and death. It is not. If the falling angel, which his name is Lucifer, the one who fell, did not sin first in heaven and bring it to earth, then it would not be known, okay? So now I want you to know that God and this fallen angel is in a battle, okay? And he is jealous of God and he wants to be like God. So he creates these manipulative ways to get people or to trick people into doing the opposite of what God tells them to do. That's what he did in heaven to the one third angels that he calls to follow behind him to be kicked basically out of heaven. And he also calls this with the first man and woman. The first man and woman Disobey God by eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which caused them in turn to sin. And because they sinned, now they were going to die. Okay. And, or they died. I mean, it immediately happened. Okay. It started immediately. Okay. Not because you didn't see them in the grave. It was that things that were perfect were now not perfect they was now starting to 
worry about things that didn't matter, that wasn't even a a, a concern to them because because God was taking care of it for them, okay? But now they were starting to do things to take care of things on their own. Now, because their eyes were open to what the devil knew now, okay? And he knew good, which is God, and he also knew himself, who created this evil. And this is what sin is, okay? Sin is a disobedient act against God, okay? And because it is an act against God, the punishment he have given them and all of us is death. But I just want to give you hope. You do have hope now because of what God did. He loved us still, even after we disobeyed a direct command of God. Okay. He sent his only begotten son so that we may live and not die. Choose to live again and not to die. But it's up to you now. It's up to us. Our ancestors failed. Okay. They failed. And now in our generations now, it is time to stop disobeying or sinning against God and teach our children or the rest of the generations how to obey God again. And by doing so, that means we're following after his son and completely obeying him until the work or until God returns with his son. And that will end sin once and for all. But if you're using God's knowledge and the devil's knowledge, you're still eating from that tree, which means you're straddling or manipulating the truth as the devil do. And if you're manipulating something, that don't mean it's complete. It's not complete. So it's not even true. Okay. It's false. It's still fake and it's not original. And God is original. That means it's not perfect anymore. The first man and the first woman became not perfect anymore. And that's what we became, not perfect anymore. But we can be perfect. But it is going to take a lot of work. Okay? Because we had a free way. Okay? We had a freedom. God gave us everything we needed in the beginning before they sinned. He gave it to them. Okay? And... They allowed the devil who lost everything to take it from them because he is jealous. He's upset and he wants to be better than God. Okay. So he wants to show that he can make people be corrupt and disobey God. He's trying to make God look like a loser. He's trying to fight against God. But at the end of the day, the devil has lost y'all. He is blind, okay, to the truth. He don't really know what he's doing anymore. He has no way of knowing what is correct anymore. He has a probate mindset. He does not know what is right anymore, okay? And now it's up to you to deny this flesh and walk by the spirit who God gives us which is the Holy Spirit, okay? So he can remind us whatsoever Jesus or God have said unto us, okay? And this will help you to stop sinning or disobeying God so that we will not have to die anymore. If you're with me, say amen. Put it down in the comments and say, Priest Carolyn, Amen. I'm with you. All right. So that is sin. I hope we will stop sinning and not do that anymore so that we can please God. Because if you're pleasing the flesh or anybody besides God, then you are sinning. And the Bible clearly says we're not to please people, but to please God. 
And I hope we can get our minds renewed with the word of God so he can put it in our minds and write it on our heart. So we will never sin against him again. And we can believe him. After you try him, he will prove it that he is the one and only true God. And Satan is a deceiver and a snake as he betrayed to be in the beginning to trick the first man and the first woman. And their name is Adam and Eve. Okay? And don't be tricked anymore. Let's stop denying our good life for someone who deserves death, who had everything he needed. He was perfect. He was in heaven with God. And that was Lucifer. He lost his chance. He has no more chances. Okay. And hell is meant for them. Hell is not meant for you and I, but he wants us to go there. He don't want nobody to have the fulfillment and joy that he had in the beginning. Okay. He had that. He lost it. It was his choice, but I want you to choose today whom you will serve and I pray it be God and you walk in his ways and he will keep you for eternity in life and not death okay okay so please if you have not became a family member please subscribe like comment and share with everyone you know okay that includes the people that is my family member, please like it, comment, share with everybody, please. We have a website, which is www.faithfulfewministry.com. We also have a online store, which is called Needed in Love. Okay? Please go on there. Please. And buy you some Pimp C to be reminded to pray in your prayer closet. Okay. Also, I wrote a book called The Garden. Please go and purchase you one with the links down below. We have scriptures down below. All of this is down below and more. Go and check it all out. I am going to let Apostle Courtney read the scriptures of today. The first scripture is Genesis chapter 2 verse 17. Easy version. But you must not eat any fruit from the tree that gives knowledge of good and evil. If you do eat fruit from that tree that day, you will certainly die. The next scripture is Romans chapter 6 verse 23, easy. If you serve sin as your master, it will pay you with death. But if you belong to our Lord Jesus Christ, God gives you a gift. That gift is life with God forever. So I hope you will receive the free gift. Well, who gave it to you, which is God. Receive your free gift of life right now for eternity by not serving sin and living for God. And you will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. Don't let sin control you because when it's finished with you, it leaves you dead. I'm going to let Apostle Courtney read five people who answered the question on the giveaway video. Here she go. The first person is Domingo Lagayo. Romans 6.23 is their response. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Wages are something that we have earned and in fact deserve because of our sin. And what our sin has earned us is death. Death is not only the separation of our physical body from our soul and spirit at the end of this life. It is also eternal separation from our creator, from God. But thank God for the word. But is a disassociative, conjunctive, meaning that it is related to what was just said, but it is in direct opposition to it. In spite of what we have earned because of sin, God in his grace has chosen to give us as a gift eternal life. 
the exact opposite of death. A gift, unlike wages, is something that we have not earned and do not deserve. It is free. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank God for the gift of his Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Great answer and complete. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it goes with my video today. God has put you, I know, you my family. Because when you see them F's together, we are together. Together on that word, okay? Amen. Great answer. Thank you for that response. And thank you for being my family member. The next person is Blythe their response is for the wages of sin is death, Romans six twenty three. God has pronounced that the penalty of sin is spiritual death and separation from God in a place of judgment called hell. Jesus clearly taught that sinners were condemned in sin and would perish and go to hell if they didn't believe in him as their savior. Great job. Great answer. That is correct. So we must obey God. And do what he tells us to do by following after his son, Jesus Christ, so that we will not die and go to hell. Thank you for that warning for the FFFs, and thank you for being my family member. The next person is Juan YTC, and their response is the wages of sin is death. Correct. Keep on studying the word of God. And keep growing in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And thank you for becoming an F, F, F. Because when you see those Fs together, we are together. The next person is Mrs. E. And their response is, wages of sin is death. Great job, correct. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, y'all. These correct answers and the participation. Thank you, family member. I love you. And the last person is Angie Moore. And their response is, the wages of sin is death. Good job, Angie Moore. I love you and thank you for being a family member because you already know. When you see those elves together, we are together. We are a family that stays together with God's help. Because what God puts together, can nobody put asunder. I love y'all. And thank y'all. I will talk to y'all later. Talk to you later. I love y'all again. Bye.